Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Pritam. In this video, we will talk about our first tool inside our toolbar. This tool is very crucial for your CAD design and today we will explore the full potential of line command. The line command I would say is foundation of drawing in AutoCAD as it allow us to create straight line between two point. Simple yet powerful I would say. So how we can create line in AutoCAD? So actually there are two way how you can activate or select line tool. First one is you use your mouse pointer, go to home tab and then here you will find this line tool. Simply click on that and in this way guys we can activate line tool. Now if I talk about another method, simply go here in command bar and type L and hit enter. Again, you will see that you have activated a line tool. Now, another question may arise. How come I know I have selected this particular tool? For that, you can always view here near command bar. Here you can see it is saying line and then it is asking us to specify the first point. So that's how we can realize that we have selected this tool. Now, based on the guidance here, we can see in this command bar, we can actually create line. So as the command bar is asking us to specify the first point, so we can specify our first point. Now it is asking us to specify next point. And let me again make a left click to specify next point. So in this way, guys, we have created our first line segment. Now hit enter to exit from line tool. Now this time what I'm going to do is instead of directly placing or specifying point anywhere again you can activate line tool by pressing L in command bar or else what you can do is you can always press space bar button to repeat the same command. So I have just pressed the space bar button and I am back again in same tool. Now let's say I want to continue from the end point of this line segment and here I am getting snap and this is because we have enabled object snap feature inside AutoCAD. So if I disable it, it would be very hard for us to choose the end point of this line segment. So make sure you enable object snap such that we can choose the exact or correct point in line segment. Now we can again choose the end point of line and can continue from there. Just like enter, you can also press escape to exit from line command. Now let's try to make a rectangle here. And again, I will be pressing space bar or you know, even you can make a right click and can click on first option which says repeat line. Or let's say you have used multiple tool, then you can go to recent input and from there you can activate that particular tool that you wish to. Now this time what I would like to do is I would like to use absolute coordinate system to create the line and it is asking us to specify first point. So let me write here. 0 comma 0 which is my first point and there we go here we can see this is our first point from this coordinate system and let's say second point is x10 and y0 which is our second point and then i'm gonna make x10 again but this time the value of y is 5 now let me make x as 0 because now I would like to form a rectangle and then y I would like to keep as it is which is 5 and if I press 2 time enter and now the last point here is 0 slash 0 and in this way guys using absolute current system we have formed this rectangle utilizing line command. And since line command is very basic one, you can create a rectangle, triangle, octagon, hexagon, you name it. You can do that. You can create using line command.
Now let's have a look at a relative coordinate system. So in case of a relative coordinate system, we need to specify our first point. So this was 10. I would like to start from 15. I'm going to activate line command and now I'm going to type here 15 and then comma 0. And let's say I would like to create similar kind of rectangle here. Instead of writing 25, 0, I would like to write here at the rate 10 and 0. So what now happened is this time we have used a relative coordinate system. Therefore, the coordinate system of last point was considered as a reference. Now here for the next point we need to type at the rate 0 which is x and then 5 which is y and we are using relative so this point will be the reference point for this coordinate and there we go since we are going in opposite direction and this point will be considered as my new relative or reference so this time what i will write is at the rate minus 10 and then y is 0 and there we go and now let's say i want to form this rectangle so I can also press C which is to close the loop and if I hit enter it will complete my sketch and we also will exit out from line command. Now let me also show you the third method where we will use a polar coordinate system to form a line. I need to specify my first point and then I will write at the rate 10 since I am using relative coordinate system so I will consider this point as my reference point and I am saying 10 um, which is x value and for y I am gonna use angle and then 5 degree I will write 5 and I will hit enter there we go now we can see we have considered this point as my reference point and we have created a line of length 10 mm at an angle of 5 degree in this way we can also utilize polar coordinate system while creating line and that's wrap up on line command in autocad i hope this tutorial you find helpful and informational if yes then do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such tutorial and to follow the entire autocad course series and i will see you soon with another such tutorial till then you take care and bye bye